and only practice for the NASCAR Xfinity Series from Richmond Raceway. Qualifying this afternoon, racing tonight. That beautiful multicolor 39 of Ryan Sieg will be a part of it. Yes, he will. I like this paint job. Maybe that's what he's needing to get that little bit of extra that he needs in trying to get move on into the next round, gather enough points to do that. He had uh, his best finish here at Richmond back in the spring, uh, back in April of this year, finished fifth. And you can see on the lower left, we're giving you some ideas on how these drivers can advance. This car has been fast, Dale. You pointed it out. And if there are some mistakes at the front of the field, which there were last year, which yep. you always expect when it gets to high-intensity playoff racing, Ryan can take advantage. That's exactly right. And, and be there to capitalize. Do, do what you do best, and then that's running these short tracks and, and give yourself an opportunity. And I'll even include Dover in on that. He's, he's really good at Dover, too. So make sure that you do your job and get your best finishes there. And as others battle and make those mistakes, be there to capitalize. Dylan. Well, that's exactly what the Christian Shane Wilson of this operation has mentioned, that they just want to go out there and, and put themselves in position to capitalize on people's mistakes and put themselves in position to do just that. So their goal for this playoffs, they, uh, and it's different for every team, and this is one of the smaller teams in the garage, their goal is just to go out and advance to the second round. So they're going to have a little bit of work to do to do that, just to dig themselves out of the, the playoff hole that they're in. But that's the goal. They just want to go out and advance once and get to that middle round of the playoffs. It's already been a year of so much positive for this group. They've improved so much since last year. So many great runs for this entire organization. And a great way to cap that off would be polishing off with an advancement to the second round of the playoffs. Yeah, what a what a great addition to this team and, and Shane Wilson bring that experience that he has, the know-how. I mean, you can just tell the difference that he's made uh, within this small race team. And uh, you, you just can't beat someone like that with the knowledge and experience that he has to help uh, move this team forward and in a better position. They're getting more sponsorship dollars to work with. So all of that put together makes them more competitive. Shane wasn't doing anything in the offseason. Had a couple of buddies who were already working at Ryan Sieg uh, RSS Racing. And uh, they said, you know what? You'd like it here. Come on down. Have a little fun. You'll make us better. And it's really proved to be true. And he bumps Zane Smith down to the fourth spot. So Zane, one of the young up-and-comers in this series, one of nine drivers in this Junior Motorsports 8 car this year. So your lap was a little bit eventful off turn four. Can you explain what you were battling? A little bit of everything, honestly. Uh, I had actually reported that something's broke on lap two, I think it was. Um, I was just wrecking loose all the way to start-finish line. So um, it sucks watching your name drop on this damn chart, but... Uh, I know we were good on our long run in practice, and uh, we got patient pop on the car this weekend, and uh, we also have them here this weekend. So we need to run well and um, make the most of the night. Yeah, and as he said, that they were good in practice this morning. So uh, not what they wanted in qualifying, but nothing to hang their head about. They should be good here over the course of this race later on tonight. Dylan, thanks, and no doubt his car got his attention. Yeah, it got his attention, but I'll just let him know there wasn't anything broke. It's just a bad draw that he got going out fifth, and uh, the track is set here for... ...tech their fans, and we'd be ever so mindful to thank you, this honor, this privilege, to enjoy this sport we love so much. Up to 13th in only 20 laps. Points are going to be paid in 55 more laps, and guys, Justin Allgaier is on pace to easily score points in this first stage. That's huge. I mean, it's really big. Brandon Jones, he's falling back to 11th. Sieg in 13th. John Anurchek, he's working himself up to 19th. But you said it, that seven car, he's getting ready to start passing some cars and knocking them out of points. And we got to remember that it's not only playoff drivers that are out here on the racetrack. You have Harrison Burton, who's not running for the championship, not a playoff driver. He's running in second. Greg Golden right now is running in the eighth position. I think it's a great run. Harrison's trying, I think, a little bit too early to run that high. I think he'd be way better served to lay the door on Ryan C. And just behind them, Zane Smith in the eighth. Zane, a 20-year-old out of Huntington Beach, California. Another one of the drivers. Parker, you see Ryan Sieg there in the 39 car. He's kind of the underdog story of this playoffs, but their mentality coming into tonight is, is interesting. They feel like the pressure is on everybody else. They sit 11th in points right now, but they'd rather be where they're at in 11th than the guys who are 8th, 9th, and 10th, which is the guys in front of them and the guys that they're currently beating on the track. John Hunter Nemechek, Justin Haley, those guys. So they're in a good spot right now. 
just doing their thing like they've done all year long, and it's got them in a good spot right now. So just to completely clear up the tire rule here in Xfinity, it's a limited sets of tires for the race, three sets for this race in your pits. That doesn't mean you can't take them off and put them back on. So that set that Parker Clipman reported on for the one of a net, they about eight laps on them from the finish. So they've taken them off, let them cool down, blue lug that's back on them, they can put them back on. Now they're not going to be as good as new tires, but don't think just because they were on the car once you have to throw them away. Right now the top eight positions Top nine positions with Ryan Sieg all held by playoff drivers. Just behind him is Harrison Burton in 10. Zane Smith 11. John Hunter Nemechek and Haley just traded spots. Haley now into 12th. John Hunter Nemechek is 13th. And Tyler Reddick currently running in the 17th position, the furthest back of the playoff drivers. Something about Richmond, short track action, tire wear, brakes heat up, patients get tested. But a long run racetrack is kind of how it's known. 75 lap stage, it wouldn't shock me if it went 75 lap green. And I think that's what these drivers have to prepare for as we see Harrison Burton get to the outside of the 19. Opposite plans by drivers on the left hand side, the 22 of Cindric. Down to another guy who's running some really, really great laps this stage too. I mentioned earlier in the night, Ryan C. He's been really fast and watching him run these guys down. Ryan. And look at this. As they try to go by the lap traffic, Ryan C gets the nose inside the nine. Well, Shane Wilson and that guy, that group. Shane Wilson has a lot of wins as a crew chief, doing a great job with his team, still battling side by side. Noah's not going to give it to him. It's not hurting Noah's car to run up there. He's not, you know, sometimes you try, you're try. you not really holding that guy up. You're just running your line, running the second lane, and hey, man, you go ahead and pass me. So while these two are continuing to fight, and it looks like Ryan Sieg is going to be able to win the battle there. Kelly, I want to know, what's going on with Tyler Reddick? Well, it's been an uphill battle for the regular season champion, Tyler Reddick, who's had a number of issues, some brake shake and ill-handling car, and then just before the end of stage one, they noticed something wasn't quite right. It turns out that they had a slow leak in the right rear tire, so Tyler really had to just kind of nurse that car around for the last handful of laps and get it to the stage break, where they made some good adjustments, hopefully, to that two car. We'll see if he can start working his way back forward. He's running in the 16th position. He's been back there, hasn't done a lot of moving to the front. He's got Jeremy Clements in front of him and well, right beside him as he tries to get by him. One issue when you have a tire going down is if you don't know it until the pit stop, you make adjustments on how the car is handling. We're only going to see perhaps three pit stops out of these Xfinity teams tonight. So if you misadjust the first pit stop, now you've wasted the second run on the wrong adjustment. You're kind of guessing for adjustments for that final pit stop. Yeah, you're, you haven't learned a thing. The only thing you know is what your car was doing during the low air tire, low tire and what it's doing after. You learned nothing about what change you just made. We have been off the mark on some of the bigger racetracks, the mile and a half. But tracks like this, like Richmond, a small three-quarter mile racetrack, like Dover in a couple weeks, a mile racetrack. Those are big opportunities for these guys to score a lot of points. Everything, though, from this point, from tonight, is a bonus. They're overachieving. They know they've done that all year. They continue to put together a great run here, running in the eighth spot. Ryan C again in the eighth position, Bell up front. And 51 laps to go in the Xfinity Series. Go bowling 250 as we go NASCAR nonstop. They're not running poorly, but everybody in front of them is having better nights. 